sprawl. Shadowrun Return's cyberpunk look is both colorful and foreboding. A rundown future vision of Seattle is this strategy role-playing game's backdrop, and as you move through it, you uncover the murder mystery at the center of the game's plot. The graphics may be modest, but detailed hand-drawn backgrounds mix fantasy and sci-fi in potent ways. The art design makes you want to unlock Seattle's twisted secrets. Unfortunately, you get the run of only a small corner of this world. Shadowrun Returns ushers you down a linear path, concluding in maybe 12 hours depending on how much attention you pay to all the text. There's no voice acting, but don't let all the reading turn you off. Your investigation has you crossing paths with a number of memorable characters with stories of their own to tell. Some dialogue is corny and some is evocative, but there are few wasted words. As the story twists and turns, it becomes more sinister, keeping you interested in what might happen next. As great as the setting is, Shadowrun Returns feels like the first chapter of a bigger game. Though in a way, there is a bigger game here. The included level editor makes this a creation platform as well as an RPG. Already there are a number of user creations to download, and surely more to come. But as it stands, the included adventure is quite enjoyable, but lighter than you might expect from a role-playing game. There are some side quests to take, but the game's linearity makes some of these missions practically complete themselves. There's a minimum of exploration and few reasons to veer off the beaten path. Dialogue takes a similar approach. Some choices can alter the outcome of certain events, but the dialogue is more about playing the role you imagine for yourself than about steering the story. Shadowrun Return's depth comes from its skill tree. There's magic, hacking, shooting, and plenty more to concern yourself with. Some of the available archetypes are understandable enough. Mages fling magic around, riggers use mechanical drones to assist them, and so on. Some skills, such as those involved with decking, require a bit more thought. When you control a decker, you're hacking into cyberspace and facing electronic foes, not the beasts in meat space. The skill tree seems intimidating at first, but as you spend the karma you earn, you'll figure out what to pay attention to and what to ignore. You then join hired mercenaries and head into your combat missions. The turn-based combat is easy enough to figure out, it's the details that make it so fun. With your shaman, you can bring spirits to life from specified summoning points. The resulting abomination doesn't do much damage, but will command the attention of nearby ghouls. A rigger with a shotgun can make quick work of guards clustered together. In the meanwhile, a supporting mage can improve your chances of landing shots while your decker rushes through the matrix, flinging energy at cyber demons. On normal difficulty, Shadowrun Returns isn't that hard, but the skill system is involved enough to give battles variety and momentum. The challenge may not be earth-shattering, but if you do make a mistake, you could be in for aggravation. Shadowrun Returns does not allow you to save anywhere you want, and its checkpoint system doesn't always respect your time or your sanity. You could take in a lot of dialogue and spend a lot of karma, only to die at the end of the encounter that follows and lose 40 minutes of progress. Nevertheless, Shadowrun Returns is a generally breezy and entertaining affair. Its grungy world stirs orcs, hackers, cults, and corporations into an intriguing story. And while it will probably leave you wanting more, this is still a successful return to an underutilized universe.